Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we are going to finish our storyline today. The little boy and his trash can. So, uh, the boy and his trash can. We are supposed to help this little guy out once more. I don't know if you have seen the last video. It's hilarious. It's, it's, it's a little boy that has a friend, which is an urban mech, and that's kind of funny. Also, we have only one day to fix our finances. Give me a little second. Oh, boy. We need to sell some items. Mm, I'm gonna go to the mech bay. I'm gonna go to the mech bay and quickly go to storage and... What is that? Oh, we can build an arctic fox. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Little omni mech. Look at him. Look at him. He's completely... Completely broken, it seems. Yup, totally. Totally broken. But he will net us a little bit of money. Not quite enough to be out of trouble. But I feel like we can drop all of these things. Good. 243,000 sea bills. It's also not gonna be quite enough. Oh, we are Barra Broke again. That's good. That's where we wanna be, right? Uh, I think the ghost can go. We don't want that. I also think the Shadow... Oh, Shadowhawk Lamb is gonna stay. Warhammer Lamb is gonna stay. A Wraith? Sure. So, now we're fine. And now we can actually wait for the timber to be built. Okay, all work orders complete. We have a solid 24,000 sea bills in our coffers. That is enough. That is just enough, guys, to get into the next flashpoint. So, here we go. Connecting Comstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the trash can back to his little Timmy. And... Uh, I guess we're gonna take the salvage again, because we're actually getting some interesting items out of all of this. Oh my god. I should have taken a look at that f before. We have to use this Urban Mech and Beetle Yellow? We can only bring two of our own units. Well... I guess it's these two then. Cool. Let's go and see. Alright, we're here guys. Beetle Yellow says... Lock and loaded, Commander! Let's show them not to pick on guys smaller than them! Let's get them trashy! Okay, so we got trashy as well. Also, heavy rain out there, Commander, so expect bad visibility and soft terrain, but at least the cooling should be better. Okay, so this is trashy. Trashy can also convert into a vehicle. Or a mech, or a vehicle, or a mech. I need to really read up on what you, what you actually gain from this. Huh. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna sprint and we're gonna take a look. We should be able to destroy the lands very, very easily. We have long-range support coming from our backliners here, the Vulture and the Archer. And we are going in to scout out what they have. Like, absolutely super close, short range. And we still don't see anything. Didn't want to brace, by the way. I wanted to brace the drone, not the Vulture. Oh, here they are. Oh, who are you? This is a lamb. Fine. I'll take you down. No problem. I mean, there might be a little bit of a problem, but hey, let's see. They have support. Dervish Locust Autogun. Ooh, two more light rotary, uh, rotary rifles. Rotary, ultra light rotary rifles on the autogun. That is the thing I actually want to salvage. Flea stiletto. Cool. Uh, let's go. 12% on the plasma. I don't think that we're gonna hit anything with this little tank, but you know, it's fine. It's a snapshot that I'm taking. I'm very willing to take that. This techie is gonna be my my absolute loot pinata. Oh, the archer doesn't have AMS. Oh, I thought I thought it had. Getting hit by tandem is not great. We pull back. Get some vision on this Pwaka. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, and this missile seems to be either jammed or one-shot. Still has a bunch of energy weapons. Eh. And 12 evasion points. I really want to hit it with my Vulture because he generated quite a good chunk of heat. And we also have heat to shoot. Okay, all LK. Again, not the best hit chance, but I think I have to take this guy very quickly. Not quite unsteady, sadly. Uh oh. Well, we're good. Also, these are also bolt-on tandem rockets. They really gun for my internals. 
fine. So turn 13. It's the dervish. I should really get under the, under the umbrella of my own AMS. Yeah. Phoenix? Wait. Are you a lamb? No, wait, this is the Phoenix something something else. Yeah, yeah, never mind. You are not a lamb, luckily. Mm, and I have a minimum distance problem here. 38. 16. 38. Oh boy, this is not great to be honest. Now he's unsteady. So, if we get lucky next round, we have higher initiative than the the lamb. If not, then he's gonna initiate on us, which he will. Okay. Also generating enough stability to be um, evasive again. Sadly, 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 we are off by one inny on Trashy and the drone. Heavy lasers. Interesting. This guy's scary. Big time. But if he jumps now, he's gonna maintain his instability. He's not. Damn it. Anyway, only eight. Eight is fine. Eight is a thing that we can deal with. Uh, reserve the little guys. We want to make them unsteady first and then follow up with some accurate shots. Dervish! God, they hate my archer. I need to bring my max closer together. That's for sure. And we need to make this guy unsteady, so... Let's go. Ideally, we would have destroyed him directly. Mm. Alright. I want to see if either Trashy or the drone can take him down. Would be nice. Then I can use my big alpha strike on something else and potentially kill another enemy. So taking two in one round is better than just one and damaging the other. Cool. So, which side? Left side. Good. That's this side. Let's go for it. Fire. Got him. Cool. Proto double heat sinks. Oh god, this guy is also filled with good electronics and stuff. Right. Rang rang. God, this noise is so nasty. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, right? Trying to observe the battlefield from here. I, I could go into mech mode again, but I think the ability to be that fast is good. Cool. Let's go over here and hit him from the side with the pulse and the grenade. That's a pretty good hit. Good. So who is the the most the most interesting enemy to take out? I think it's the Dervish. He's nasty with all of his guns, all of his weapons that can fire at long range. The Locust would be an easier target to completely kill, but I think two Alpha Strikes and the Dervish is down, and then we are fine. Okay. So we know that the left flank consisted of three Lance units. We should be fine here. Very, very good. So I believe Trashy and the Drone, both of them can take down the, the Flea easily, and maybe even the Stilettos. Although, the Stilettos bring some damage to the field. With their SRMs and stuff. <laughs> he was doing that just to make a point. I can still hit the Archer! Yeah! Okay, finish off that guy. Alright. Sorry for the mic hit. I think we are good now. I think we are very good now. Um, on the auto gun already? We don't have the best hit chance, but this guy has no armor, basically. Let's go for the Phoenix. Following the paradigm of, I'm gonna hit what I can. Even got some heat out of this. Nice. Here come the rocks, the mini rocks. Ow. I, I want to make something happen with them. I need a mag that is able to run four or more ballistic hardpoints or four or more ballistic weapons and then just stack these rotary rifles. 
That's a flea down. Might even be killed. I'm pretty sure, actually. Even if the pulse laser doesn't hit often, the fall damage will be enough to take him out. Good smash. Alright. Enemies are falling like flies. But that's what I was talking about earlier. These stilettos, I have a good chunk of health and damage output. And if there was a bigger unit of them, they would be actually quite scary. Like, imagine a pack of four or even six of them. They're hard to take down. So they will just constantly drop SRM fire on you. Okay. So. What now? On the stiletto? I think I will. I don't want to destroy it with big alpha strikes, honestly. Where are the guns situated? On the turret? Cannot see. Cannot see right now. Maybe I should go for him. Man, I really hope we can keep the guns. It would be so fantastic. I know that they are primitive, they are like not the, the most exciting things. But again, if you can bow them, we were discussing it in the last episode. If you have so many of them, then their primitive nature doesn't matter. At all. Okay. Gonna go vigilante. I was really hoping that the plasma would hit. Because it's really nasty against Protomax. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go a bit closer here. Because these are the only ones that have missiles and I want to get them in my... Under my umbrella. Under my AMS. Or maybe just kill them. Outright. Beautiful. So what we have now is a flea and half a phoenix, right? Phoenix is almost down. And it's a locust. Okay. Flea, locust. Nasty. Right. So, bolt on AMS, double machine guns. That's it. The most dangerous target, if you ever want to call it like that, is the... The Phoenix. So, we're gonna go for him. We even hit him big time. Okay. It's a pretty good hit. And it seems like we can only shoot... No, way. I wanted to say we can only shoot indirectly at him. But going over here, we have that angle... Oh, I could go incendiary. Yeah, that's better. Here we go. Ah, I was off by one. I could have shot one more LK. I don't think I need it, though. <laughs> so, energy weapon is down. That means the large laser is off. We don't have to worry about that thing anymore. Our big alpha strike goes to the locust, obviously. Alright, maybe the bolt on AMS actually saved his life. Medium pulse for the win. We'll see. If I wanted to play it like really optimal, I would have not shot him and used my other two guys to take the kill because it gives extra experience when you finish somebody, when you confirm a destruction on a mech or a vehicle or whatever. So let's actually do that. Let's use Bullet Trap and Hero to get the last shot. The last hit. Uh, let's do it like this. Okay, he's done for. Wow. Big, big reactor explosion. Uh, you do nothing. Hero. Let's go. And that is the end of the Locust. He doesn't have any weapons anymore. Yeah, I think we destroyed his only bin of machine gun ammo as well. So he couldn't fire anything. But he could still punch or kick. So, now we can live in peace. Time to take you home. Mission successful. Little Timmy. He's so adorable. And then little Timmy rode on the back of his urban mech into the sunset. And we have never seen him again. Until he comes back. With a stone rhino, because his trash can evolved. Whew. I really hope that's the end of this.
because I am here for my loot cache now. For all of you who don't know, I'm doing this in a big batch recording session right now, and last time I was sitting here for a long time, wanted to get my hand on a very easy loot cache. So here we are, cargo truck, not a thing I want. This is a 30 ton lamb, I think it's not too exciting. We also only got four parts of it, and I don't think anything is compatible, no. Yeah, micro laser array? That is fantastic! I want more of these. Look at this! It's one ton. Oh, three, sl ah, three slots. That's heavy. Oh, goo. Um, yeah, but, but anyway, it's 40 damage. Plus a bonus against battle armor. I want it. Medium improved heavies are also good ish. But what I want is the light rotary rifles. Don't hate me. Hey, they can deal a lot of damage, if used correctly. <laughs> Alright, fuel cells, standard fire control system, lamb booster pack. We have that already. Lamb turbines. We have them already. Rotor double heat sinks are good. Ooh, vehicular DNI. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! So it's basically a predator fire control system slapped on a DNI. I would like to have this, just to have it for the moment. I think it's good. Does it give night vision? Uh, no, 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 no. Provides targeting and weapons control, basic... Uh, okay, it just says it's, it, it takes the fire control system and the uh, cockpit slot. Um, I don't see night vision right now, maybe I'm blind. When active, pilot takes injuries on structure damage, which is nasty. Fall shot modifier, negative one recoil, which is in itself very good. Mm, so no night vision. Eh, still good. We'll take the ammo for the periphery rifles. Definitely. An AR-12 sheath beacon is good. But we have two of them, which we are not using right now. And then there's the Phoenix. So, two more picks. Two more picks. It could be the Protos. It could be the Lamb stuff. Heavy lasers are fun. Cargo truck. If it was a 55 ton Lamb, I would have picked it in an instant. But it's a 30 ton now, so it makes it really squishy. Like, really squishy. Yeah, I think I'll take the Protos. They're good. And we can, we can make builds with that, no matter what. Uh, ferro aluminium. Nah. Confirm that. We're good. So, we take two parts of the little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. And we also take an LRM-10 that we don't want. I like the heavies. It's okay. SRM can go. Tandem rockets can go. Armor can go. Small cockpit. Small cockpit is not good. Unless it's advanced. I'll drop it. That can go. Another lamp booster. Nice. And SRM ammo. So, now we own four light rotary rifles. We need a mech for that. Um, technically, we have an Omni mech. We have two Omni mechs. One of it is the, uh, the Mad Cat, and one of that is our Mad Dog. Huh. Ha 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 ha. But I think both mechs are running just fine as they are. Being an omni mech means that it costs us very little money and time to refit them to test out a new build. We could do it now. The only thing that we need is recoil reduction because that's the, that's a big bottleneck. But we would get one recoil reduction coming from the vehicular DNI, two from our skills, and then some. But let's talk about this for a second. I want to say thank you once again, Commander. With your help, I have made a true friend. We will be returning to my homeworld, Siberia, now. I hope that by introducing them to Trashy, they will start to see the universe in a different light. I have left you a gift, though. Since they made copies of my little friend, I wanted to leave one of them with you, so you can remember our happiness forever. Well, I guess the universe has few surprises left for us yet. Let's take a look at this little friend. Alrighty then. Does it mean we get one of these Herbies? I mean, obviously. Wait! 
We don't? I thought that... Okay. Well, we get mine clearing. That's the rare component that we get? That's garbage. <laughs> Beagle is fine. MRM30 is fine. Guardian ECM is fine. Directional heavy jump jet is good. Because it is uh, built around death from above accuracy. And I want to make this happen. We need to build a death from above build at some point. And I think heavy makes are really good for that. Because they also maintain good amount of base mobility. Uh, without the need to go crazy on the engine size. I love it. Um, and then there's the Urban Mech R1010. Huh. Alright. We have a new friend. <laughs> it heats up really good, sir. Too bad this one doesn't have the sentience of the other. Huh. Cool. So. That was that. We have managed to get a flashpoint done again. The big question is, which planet are we on? Well, that's what I thought. So... I believe our next goal should be, first of all, gathering money. Holy crapperoni. And we need to find a planet in the vicinity to actually play a mission or two. I don't want to play zero scale missions or like one scale missions, whatever. Um, this seems to be good for us. This seems to be very good. We could play the Braying of Hounds. But I think we need to fix our finances before we go. Mm, yeah. Let's go down here. It's 11 days. It is within our monthly cost and uh, yeah, we could actually, I mean, first of all, I think I'm going to drop this Herbie. Oh wait, it has stuff. We, we're going to take a look at it first and then we decide if we want to drop it or not. By the way, plasma cannon. Hell yeah. So it has wheeled conversion gear, negative 12% armor weight, resistance against crits, 15% less damage taken. It's good, but also 10 flat heat per turn. All right, it has a primary and a secondary CPU. What does that mean? Let's check the primary. 100 meter increased sight range plus one initiative. That's bad. And secondary CPU is just there. Okay, and it is a crit item that we have a problem with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we put something... No. We cannot put that on the Mac. So these are like fixed items that we cannot override. We get a Clan XL engine and an XL gyro out of that. Also a crazy amount of patchwork. That is a good haul. Yeah, and I love that we have a plasma cannon now. Cool. So it's a thing that I'm not going to use right now. Ever. Nah. We're going to scrap the guy. A little herby and we're gonna use all the items for our uh, for our bills so thinking about a ballistics which mech would be better for it i think the vulture would be good because it has mediocre mobility and i believe the ballistic here the good old light rotary rifle Oh, ultralight rotary rifle. It's not even a light, it's an ultralight. This is insane. Absolutely insane, guys. For two tons, we deal 40 damage. Uh, and for three times the weight, we get 50% more damage out of this light rifle. This ultralight is so damn good. The jam chance could be mitigated. Hmm... Let me check my equipment real quick. We have upper recoil quick sell. Negative three recoil with ranged weapons. But negative one accuracy. Plus two modifier, two percent modifier to jam chance. Or we take this for only one recoil reduction. We need a recoil reduction of four. I think I know how to do it. So the question is, can we put this thing on an arm? That would be fan freaking tastic Light rotary rifle. Ooh, they're big. Cannot be used with right arm. But can it be used with outback? It could be. Just a light one. I want the ultra light. We need another slot though. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Weight isn't even the issue. It's the slots. Now weight would be the issue. But let's think about it. We could do this. Having four of these weapons here. I 
thing that I, I, I forgot to check. The thing that I forgot to check was the range. Okay, we need somebody who's really fast and can fly fly around the battlefield, you know, using these things as close range weapons. Yeah, the 180 meters distance is a thing that I completely overlooked. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, doesn't matter. Um, wasn't really the case that we could have picked anything better than that, right? Not massively better. <laughs> it's alright. But maybe, I mean, we have them now. If we find a Shadow Hawk Lamb, that guy has a bunch of ballistic hard points. We can totally make this happen. Uh, let's test Jamie's idea. Okay. It's okay. Wanna change anything in terms of builds? I said earlier that I don't really like my Battlemaster right now. But I do like the initiative for the other guys. So, Command Console on the mech doesn't mean that we have the greatest accuracy, but everybody else definitely benefits from it. Guess we have to test the Battlemaster a bit more in more, like, circumstances. Alright, so we have some people here. We have Iz Iz Izult. What's her deal? Ex-military, mili uh, mech warrior, criminal, dishonest, merchant, gladiator, noble. She's alright. We don't need her, but she's alright. There's also Oddball. Okay, I mean, this guy is massive. Lost tech experience, athletic, XCOM star, dependable, gladiator, honest, mech warrior, spacer, brave, merchant, criminal, assassin, technician. I want to get that guy. For a second I thought he also had neural implants, but <laughs> he doesn't. I mean, this image would also probably say no. But I'm gonna hire him. I like him. The other guys are not worth looking at. Not really. Okay. So we got that going for us. Uh, next thing is take a look at barracks because I want ether to be a bit more upgraded if possible Give him a little bit. You know what guts Guts is the next thing and then we take a look at the command center. What we want is Like a nice four skull battle something like that check out the battle master, but not uh, uh, Put him out of his comfort zone too much Play an assassination here You know, I like my recoveries. We're gonna go with that take all the salvage and all the mech. So let's load up our alpha lance. Bam. Some of this doesn't work anymore. Weird. Cool. Battlemaster in. Archer in. Wacker is out now, by the way. The Wacker will probably be disassembled. We're gonna keep him around just in case, but, you know, it's fine. So, wizard goes here. This is a. a task for. Who's gonna be on him? I mean, Finnan really wants to be on the Cloudbuster, right? He has so much affinity for it. Might as well. Yeah, he's about to get to 60. The next one is 80, though. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. So. Uh, we want Hero on the Archer. We want you on the Phoenix. Jamie on the Timber? Ether has some experience with the Timber Wolf already. What about Jamie? You were on the Wacker the whole time, huh? I mean, technically, I can put you on the Grasshopper. The important thing is that Ether gets more... Uh, um, first of all, more affinity and also more experience. And I think everybody else is gonna be alright. Bullet Trap on the Vulture... He's at 29 already. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, there's also Oddball that we want to start to train. Definitely. Uh, don't know how yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out. He could be the one... He has Gladiator. He could be the one on the helper in the long run. Actually, I want Jasta on the hopper. So let's do it like this. Jamie is out for the moment? Man, we have we have too many good people here and too little mechs to play with. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's it, guys. We're gonna go for the next mission right now. Alright, guys, let's go. We have no friends, but that's to be expected because now we actually have a good lance. Uh, the enemy will have supports, though, so the whole area is not really droppable. Uh-oh. But hey, we have a we have a mineral field here. That is a thing that I really appreciate. So we're gonna start here and make our way towards the base somehow. Uh, trying to use the high ground, trying to use the extra defense that we get from the mineral distortion. And here they are. Yeah, they got a support. I see a griffin. I see a hunchback. I also see a Frankie. Ooh, it's a dragon, right? Uh, hero or one of the named dragons another hunchback 
Cool. So, let's go ahead and put the fuge into the sidelines. There we go. Do I EWS ping? Not yet. No. That's a thing that we can do later. In fact, I will give him a turn. Maybe we can do some shenanigans with that, with our sense of ping ability. And another one. I think down to turn 15 is fine. There we go, the griffin is moving, and the hunchback. Who is fast? It's the turbo hunchback, right? No, 1G. Okay, never mind. He's just fast. So, I am going to jump. We might be already in range next round to go for a nice punch against the hunch. Okay. This is weird, man. Things are... Things, things are a little bit, um... Vague on the enemy side there. This cannot be it. We are playing a four scale mission, right? Why don't we only see medium max? Like, what's the deal with that? Yeah, we're fine. Um, yeah, you buddy, you gotta jump. You can actually jump into the thick of it. Let's go down here. And uh oh, that's what I'm talking about. Sneaky dire wolf. All righty then. I'm gonna give him the ping. Bing. So, we found our escalation target. <laughs> Look at all of this. That's a freaking dire wolf, and I want it. That would be so fun to get. Good. Go ahead and move and brace. Nice ether on the Timby. Go ahead and jump and brace. Gonna do that. Can only get the hunchback in here. Would I ever ping later? Nah. I think next the next few rounds we are busy shooting, so might as well take this now. And now he has zero evasion. Pretty good. Also, it's worth noting the Dire Wolf is not really slow on initiative. He has a 15 inny. And this is an awesome 8Q, so we have to expect lots of PPCs on the other side. Fine, I'll move here and brace it up. Now I'm really hoping that we have enough initiative to get the Dire Wolf down before he's taking a single action. But with all of the hesitation from the last round, we might not get that. He's 13. We have... More than 13 on almost everybody. Double gun? Uh, might have been the Hunchback, right? With two rifles. Light auto cannon tens. Nice build. Ooh. Alrighty then. Yeah, man, we have to flatten the Dire Wolf. Like, right now. Right now. I'm gonna shoot everything at him. Even the mines, even everything. Here we go. That's some serious stability damage. Hell yeah. All right, Mr. Lone Wolf, I'm gonna come for you. Great. So, Frankie is running. Frankie is hitting me big time. That is a problem. This is a duel of stability damage. Now we have a problem with the Phoenix. Punchy. Oh, he seems to not like my Cloudbuster. I was so happy that he didn't go for the flyer. Whew. So. I I want ATMs to fire at the Dyer. I know I'm rhyming too much today. Oh, this is the spot. Then we go for it. We totally go for it. Uh, I think it's standard ammo. We want to deal some damage. That's the knock. On your butt. Great, he's bleeding. I cannot wait 21 activation spot. It's worth noting, he only has two health. Hmm. Okay. Gonna get out of the... the uh, away from the thick of it. Come on. It's stable again. And uh, drop the bombs on the face. Inferno high explosives. I mean, the mines don't really matter anyway. Might as well destroy them. With the high explosive bomb. And... We got him narked, we got him overheated a little. But we didn't manage to get another... Uh, another injury out of him. Sure. Mineral field, baby. Okay. So, bullet and the trap. I have to go for headshots. I, I have to. 
This is a freaking dire wolf, and I want to have it. So Hydra would just give him heat. Do we want to damage him? I feel we should go for Typhon. And a little bit of Hydra. Let's see. It's not dealing the most damage in the world. But we crit. Okay. Did he take any internal, like, pilot damage? He got injured by... He resisted it. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is this the time where we're going to finish him up? Because the archer is the only one. Actually, the timber might be able to get another shot out. Right, let's go over here. Man, what, what a weird situation we are in. Go for head. Oh, let's go. I'm afraid of the, the dire wolf. So. Another headshot. We got him? I, I, th I think we got him, guys. I think we got him. Now we need to survive. Yeah, you shoot your friend. That's good. Oh, dire wolf, anybody? Uh, that also means that we need to make sure... Oh, wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna finish the sentence real quick. We need to make sure to wreck the crap out of the enemies that are still alive so that they don't leave anything on the on the loot table so that we have a higher relative chance to get dire wolf parts and then it struck me these guys are probably the support lands and i'm not entirely sure if you can salvage mech parts from support lances so i don't know i don't know if that's possible what should be possible is hitting the hunchback with a melee attack totally here we go Punch that fool. Let's go for it. Should be a kill. Ooh, nice head punch. And another one. Good. Yeah. We have like a, a total of six individual damage instances. The first one will impact and then the game calculates the other random locations. And if we hit head again, then they are just done. Right. So... Yeah, I don't want to jump right now. We want to we want to not get unstable. Buy and forget. Here we go. Could have opted to go for more Inferno so that the Griffin is getting overheated, but let's be real, a Griffin is not really a threat to us. Might as well deal damage now to have an easier round, next round, to kill him. Punch back. Oh, that's insane. If we could get our hands on a Dire Wolf now, that would be so damn fantastic. At the same time, I believe what we can definitely do is uh, grab some of these uh, items inside of the wolf. It's got 13. I know I'm putting my mech in a very dire position. Um, but anyway, and this time I'm gonna go for the Inferno. Cool. Got the Griffin narked. And we have a high amount of initiative on our side again. So we will probably kill this guy. I'm not afraid. I'm going in. Two pew laser beams. Okay, and then the fusion as well. Getting down here. Hoping that we have enough stealth to not get hit. And the Griffin is basically toast now. He's on the ground. He is overheated. He lost... Side tosser, which is not that impactful on a griffin, but every every component destruction that is side or center, I mean center is kill, but it gives pilot injuries and that's really bad for them. Okay, we go for the hunch now. I'm also going vigilant for higher initiative next round. Bam, gun down. Dude, we are wrecking these guys. Same thing here. I could also go for Frankie. What do you have? Are you dangerous? Well, somewhat, actually. But you got an AMS, which is nasty. So I'll go... I'm gonna go incendiary here. Yeah, these deal damage and also overheat. There's also the knockdown. Same thing as in the Griffin situation. He's basically incapacitated at that point. 
And these pilots have so little health. It's incredible. So, we're gonna get over here. We have an amazing amount of evasion. We also have vigilance, so we are stable again. And we're also hot. Hmm, nice. I'll do it like that. And we also have the mineral field around us, which gives ourselves a plus four bonus for our own defense, like a penalty of plus four for the enemy to hit us. Well, we have a plus two malice. Okay. 1942. What about ER? It's a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna just finish that guy. Ooh. Wasn't enough. It was enough. Never mind. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Okay, speaking of awesome... We have a 6% fail chance, which is not enough for me. Or it's too much for me to, to justify right now. Let's go here and shoot the plasma rifle. Sensor impaired. Very nice. Is the awesome. You can't touch this. No, no. And I think at this point, it is time to finish the game. Yeah, we're just gonna crush those fools. I mean, we have all of our salvage opportunities already where we want them. Uh, Infernos here? No. Standard. Let's go for damage. I kind of want to contest a Frankie with my melee mech somehow. We could do a death from above. It would be very inaccurate, but we could. So, fusion to the front. Get that guy down. Still not. Spreading the damage like a boss. What about this? This could be the end of the wall of the awesome. Still not. Crazy. So, what about his side torso? He's down to six structure. Alrighty then. Alrighty. This is not the most evasion that we get here. 87.9 and we miss both lasers. Oh, sometimes you get XCOM'd. Not bad, not bad. So, turn 19. Let's see what Frankie is doing. You wanna play? I'm gonna play with you, buddy. Grasshopper is gonna do it. Everybody else on the awesome. Hey, finally, we got a hit chance. Let's deal a bit more damage with standard ammo. For a slightly lower hit chance. And that's the knockdown. And he's punching out. Okay. I'll totally take that. So, my friend. I still have a lot of incendiaries. I also have a lot of hydras. The hydras are the ones I'm gonna go for. Fire. We're gonna light him up. Blazing Inferno. Yeah, he's getting hot, hot, hot. Uh, also death from above. Come on, let's do it. Can I? Can I? I cannot. Oh, interesting. I cannot confirm the death from above attack. Uh, yeah, what, what I can do is, you know, we go down here. I'm gonna use Vigilance. I'm gonna shoot him. And hit him with Plasma. And next round, we will have the initiative over him and just kill. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Almost. It's kind of crazy. That guy has a 20... F no, wait. 19 uh, initiative. So our melee mech couldn't even get there, even if he wanted to. Might as well shoot him down then. Let's go. That was good. Oh, it felt so dirty and so satisfying at the same time. Hey, guys, Direwolf. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, also, if you have made it so far, then uh, leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. Uh, comment on, you know, what do you think? Would we get the Direwolf in the end or not? It would help the channel. So thank you, guys.
Let's do it. Okay. Man, I am so interested to see if we can get the big bad boy. That would be fantastic. So, fingers crossed. Would be our first 100 tonner, even. Yeah, our only assault make that we have is our battle master right now. Replacing that for a dire wolf, or no, replacing another mech and add the dire wolf to the lands. That would be great. Although I gotta say, my, my mechs right now, I like where they are. The battle master, not quite, but the other mechs are they're just performing. They are doing the job just fine. And it is here! Oh my god! Oh my god! And we have five salvage. <gasps> wow! Holy macaroni! Alright, I mean, I'm not gonna take parts when I can take a wolf, right? Proto heatsink kit, proto heatsinks, XL clan engines and stuff, Gauss ammo, and the Gauss on top of that. That is incredible. And I feel like it was the lone wolf variant which has some stuff. Look at all the affinities here. Holy crap. Let's get him. So, Dire Wolf. Hunchback, Hunchback, Hunchback. LRM10, Medium Clan Pulse. MML7, Compact Heat Sings, Cool and Flush times 2. 250 rated core. Another XL Engine Clan. Oh, I love it. Clan Exchanger. I, I can't believe this. This is incredible, guys. Guys, I guess we have a Dire Wolf. We will start building it, but that's, you know, we're gonna leave it for the next episode. Yeah, so... Leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of this, and see how the Dire Wolf is coming together. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.